busy. <laughs> yeah, that's my first impression. And and I guess when we were talking the other day, weren't we, about how far the whole EV world has come in, yeah. you know, 10 years. And I get a sense of that walking around here, you know, the the number of advocates of EVs amongst, uh, you know, car manufacturers, charge point manufacturers, uh, energy companies, that kind of stuff, you know, it's just like, it's like something that's really taken off. That's, that's the impression I got. It's just impossible to imagine, you know, we, we stood on a bridge over the M5, not far from Stroud, talking about cars and what they've how they've changed our world and you know what we need to do to, to mitigate that and but it was still like a theory it was basically we were talking about the theory that it might be possible at some point in the future that you could drive around in electric cars and not fossil fuel ones and now it's you know I'm looking at a huge queue of electric cars that are ferrying people in here that I, you, we could not have imagined that then back in 2010 I mean I think it's as Dale and I have spoken about numerous times it's about batteries it's about what batteries represent because they I love the fact that batteries are just about the dullest thing to look at you can possibly imagine and when I grew up I used to look at steam engines from you know Victorian steam engines, and they had really interesting bits of brass pipe and pistons and they were like oh whereas you look at a battery and it's just a box doesn't you know but what they represent distributed across the country is a real change in the way that we generate electricity use it where the way we can become electricity generators as individuals and store it and buy and sell it you know there's a whole new market that's emerging very rapidly at, at the uh, at the rate of change the rate at which is increasing not just uh, you're progressing I think 10 years from now you won't be able to buy a conventional car new you won't be able to get one nobody will make them and most of the cars on the road would be electric, that's what I think. I can remember being in an electric car, trying to talk to Dale and not being able to hear anything. Oh my God, oh my God. That was really, you know, the whole concept of the silent electric car was put to bed in, in the Nemesis. Brilliant noise, fantastic. But it was a, such an exciting thing to go in when, at that stage, wasn't it? Because I mean, there was, there was nothing comparable to it then. Not even a leaf on the road, was no, it? No, there was no leaf on the road. The road still, uh, I think the roadster might have existed, but not in this country, we didn't have them. So yeah, it was very much a game changer. <laughs> no, we'll say tofu. <laughs> <laughs>